Hi there everyone, meteorologist Robert Spenny here with you on today, the 10th of October 2013. We have a well severe tropical storm, Nadi or Santi, out here just towards the east of the Philippines. Not much has changed as far as the track of this storm system since here on Wednesday we made our latest video update, but the intensity and the overall speed of it has changed and it looks like it's going to be stronger and it looks like it has sped up here uh, here going through the day on Thursday. So what that means is we likely are going to have a stronger storm system than originally expected, making landfall sometime on Friday night into early Saturday morning there along the eastern seaboard of uh, Luzon, just south of Cassiagoran. And this is showing the latest track from the Japan Meteorological Agency. Pressure at 975 HPA, so they're almost there at typhoon intensity with winds of 60 gusting up to 85 knots. Moving on shore, uh, like I said, during the early Early morning out. By early morning, I mean uh, really around about 3 to about 5 a.m. It's going to be right near the coastal areas. And then as we look ahead into Saturday, this is actually right around 8 a.m. It'll be well over land and vice coming on shore during the evening hours. Pagasa also matching up with this faster speed. Bringing in on the storm on a shore here going through basically Saturday uh, morning as well. So that is the forecast at this point, at least from JMA and uh, Pagasa here, uh, the two main uh, official WMO agencies out here in the Western Pacific. JTWC, very similar output as well. And as far as the models are concerned, they're also in fair agreement of that increased intensity and also the increase in speed. We can just take a look at the GFS, uh, where they pinpoint this storm at landfall. And that would likely be just offshore. This is showing right around 4 to 5 a.m. Uh, Philippine Standard Time uh, coming on shore. Already gale warnings in effect extending all the way down there towards the south. Even northern portions of Samar, uh, you are under uh, some gale warnings at this time. And I also know some coastal areas are under signal force warning number one. Now expect that to change, go up to two and possibly three as this does come on shore through the next 48 hours. So I uh, really want to pay attention to those right now. What you do need to know is that conditions will rapidly be changing here going through the day on Friday, uh, making this video update on Thursday. And then by Saturday morning, the storm system is really going to be descending upon you here, especially there around Cassigora. And then it's going to move on shore, uh, really, even over there towards Baguio City. Uh, you're going to be seeing some pretty gusty winds as it starts to funnel on shore. And then it's farther down there towards South Manila. You do have those winds coming in across Manila Bay. Uh, right near the bay front, I do think there is a risk of storm surge, some coastal flooding, as I said yesterday. But I do think that the bigger problem farther towards the south from Angeles City down there towards Manila, even around Cavite, is going to be the heavy rainfall. We can just scroll this through here, looking ahead. Um, you're going to be seeing some pretty uh, decent showers on the southern periphery, that moisture funneling on shore. And uh, some of these storms could cause some serious risk of flooding and also landslides, especially areas just north, just outside of Manila, just north of Quezon, right up in these areas. So uh, that is something we want to watch through the weekend here. But like I said, storm system looks stronger, likely making landfall as a Fairly strong uh, typhoon here going into Saturday, early, early morning hours uh, here across eastern portions of the Philippines. And then uh, beyond that, by next week, we very well are going to be seeing this storm push over the Philippines and track into the South China Sea, redevelop and become a really just a strong typhoon yet again as it cruises off there towards the west, towards Vietnam. So it's not just the Philippines want to continue to keep an eye on it. I think Vietnam and also, well, of course, Laos just on the western side of Vietnam and the southern portions of China, uh, you want to watch this. Do I think this is going to move towards Hong Kong? Highly unlikely at this time, but Hainan uh, really want to continue to keep a very close eye on our, well, now Tropical Storm Nadi or uh, Bog Yong. I know I'm saying that wrong. Uh, Santi as it pushes off here towards the west. That's all for right now, everybody. I know a very quick, short update, but I do want to get out that warning that it's going to be likely making landfall a little bit earlier uh, than we said yesterday, and it's going to be quite stronger. I mean, right here, JTWC 90 
gusting up to 109. Oh, and by the way, this is Donna's clear off here towards the north, racing way towards the northeast. And also, um, the development of WIFA is still spitting out here near Guam, and it really has been bringing some pretty heavy rain showers. I know high surf advisories and effects across the uh, Mariana Islands at this time as well. So uh, we're going to continue to keep an eye on that one, even as we continue to watch Nari here near the Philippines. Stay safe out there, everybody. Thanks for watching.